Wetton, who's a JP Punjab warrior in the hockey in the league and a proud Australian. That's a great effort. Vivaldi somehow keeps it out. The umpire just says, "Calm down." Martin Groschal and Martin Madden. Well, Jake in London, Wetton, England. Jake Wetton crushes that ball inside. The ball bobs up. Comes a lucky break off on Lopez to. Very hard work at one of the people that really make the Australian midfield tick, Vivaldi. Well, I'm not sure if that was a save or came back off the post. It sounded more like post than pad to me. Lucky Sharp wears the number one shirt now for Australia. Can they get the first goal? They have. It's in. Haywood celebrates. Australia have opened the scoring in the final. And Jeremy Haywood scored in the semi final, scores in the final. It's Australia 1, Argentina 0. Well, they don't move the castle, they keep it in the centre. The ball goes actually just past his left leg. It should have been a save by Vivaldi, beaten on pace. And the postman, it hits a stick and goes in the goal. Clear to the players as to what he wants. Touch! And it's in! Who did that come off? It's a goal given! Well, is it the goal? I think it might be. Greta Gui celebrates the players go to the number 30 of Argentina, the youngster, Augusto Miguel. And used against the Netherlands earlier on in the competition. And scores here in his debut world final. Well, Gilardi actually played that ball inside. It just deflects slightly off Noel's stick. But you know they are really a fit team they they play to their strengths klein schmidt this way that way still has the ball gets the free hit gets it moving now that was inside the dotted line but the argentinians came rushing out oh lucky sharp had another opportunity there very nearly scored against germany in the semi-final had a goal disallowed earlier in the competition so argentina will have the ball on the Australian 23 just inside in fact Martin Groschel brings it forward quite considerably quick play for Argentina Ortiz oh the flash across to Villa who tried to volley it goalward and couldn't quite get it goalward that was good between Ortiz and Villa well Ortiz goes down the circle gets down to the baseline just plays the ball slightly raised and look at Lucky Villa he wants to put that ball past Lovell yeah, it was almost in the circle, and waiting to crash that ball. So it's good thinking by the umpire. Of course, what Martin Madden was talking about is the shot comes in all oh, just wide. Because they have to stop the ball. Blake Govers with the opportunity, but players can self-pass in hockey. They don't have to pass to a colleague. Let's look at that chance for Govers. But Daniel B crashes that ball to the far post, but look where Pella is. Pella is not marking at all. But now. Australia turn it over. No, straight away looks for the long ball. Finds Govers. Here's the chance for the Aussies. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. What an opportunity that was. Eddie Ockenden, so unlucky. And we said you had to feel that Australia could get a goal. Oh, the Argentinians turn it over and they very nearly did it at the end of the third quarter. Wow. Now, Tarazona. Swan. Let it go. Pings off the. No, it wasn't a boot, and now there's a chance for Argentina. What an opportunity! It's Lopez. And when he had the chance to take the lead for Argentina, Lopez has missed it. And Dino, in fact. When the ball goes through, he beats, he beats Mark Knowles on a lucky bronze. Hayward to the right of him. Can Australia? Finish this off, Govers, it's in! Blake Govers has done it! He's put the ball past Vivaldi, his fifth goal of the competition, and Australia take a 2-1 lead at the Odessa Hockey World League Finals 2017. The reigning champions of the Hockey World League are going to win it back-to-back -back unless Argentina get another goal. Well, you know, he's susceptible on the left foot as he offsets to the right and Blake Gubbard done his homework, flicks the ball past the left foot the second goal conceded in the same way Padded it back over the baseline is it going anywhere else? play continues Argentina have the shot here Paredes Lovell what a shot and it's just wide 
And can you believe it? If that had been on target from Diego Paz, it would have counted. But Australia have done it. They have regained the Hockey World League crown in 2017. They won it in Raipur in 2015. Argentina did their utmost to knock the number twos off their perch. And all that happened to the Argentinians is not only do they miss out on the Hockey World League crown, Australia stripped them of their world number one crown too. Australia have done it. They won in 2015. And to the clash and the clamour of fireworks, they take the Hockey World League crown once more. The Odessa Hockey World League finals of 2017 goes Australia's way.